so in this video we will be uh, doing a lab on classic load balancer so for doing a lab on classic load balancer we need two ec2 instances so let's start spinning up uh, ec2 instances i would be creating a linux ami and configure details and i will keep everything for now as default i will go to advanced setting and just pass in my bootstrap script over here and for identity verification purposes i can say hello world from vm1 okay i will say next tag security group i will keep this under default security group for now launch i say launch and i will select an existing key pair previous key pair which we created i will say acknowledge i will say launch instance let's name this instance as vm1 similarly let's create another instance advanced details and for this vm i can say vm2 storage tags same security group if you want launch launch and launch instance so let's, let's name this as well so my ec2 instance are created next thing what i would need to do is, is i need to go to my load balancers tab i'll say create load balancer under load balancer i will say create load balancer and I am creating classic load balancer for this lab. Let's name this as CLB. It would be under my default VPC. We don't want it as classic. We don't want it as an internal load balancer. This is my public facing load balancer. Uh, if we want to add an SSL certificate, I can simply select HTTPS. So, which will enable me basically to this page. If I don't enable this, I remove this, then it won't ask me anything over here. This means this. Uh, second is your listeners configuration. Under listeners configuration, your EL, ELB would be classic load balancer would be listening on port number 80 and instance port. So this depends on your application basically. So we we, we are doing an Apache application for this for this, for this lab. So the port number is 80. So the, if there was some other scenario like for suppose if you would if you would be running in Tomcat server like then port number would be 80, 80 in that scenario. So this is configured. I will say next. I will select the security group as default. Here I can. Here I can. I, here I need to configure my uh, file on from which it will try to get a 200 response code. So for this lab processes, we are we have created an special. Uh, we have created an additional file called uh, hell HTML. So I will supply that hell HTML as the file from which it needs to check the health of my instance. Next is this res response timeout, so it would be two seconds. This means the amount of time the application, my load balancer would try to call this, try, try to uh, get a response from this file. It would, if it, if the response comes under two seconds, it's fine. If it's not coming, then it would be, in, it would be declared as timeout interval. The amount of the, the gap, the gap between the uh, consecutive uh, health checks, unhealthy So uh, how many, uh, how many unhealthy threshold will uh, lead to uh, unregistered this is an and a healthy threshold as two. So we are using minimum value in this scenario. I'll say add instances. I can see both my instances over here. I'll say here. I can keep a name tag as CLB. I'll say creating my load balancer. So my load balancer is getting created. So let's let's browse the tabs and let's go to instance tab. So as of now my instances are like out of service. So initial they are there. Initial health checks are going on. It will take like around 20 seconds to get them registered. So let's wait for 20 seconds. There are various other settings you can you can you can enable sticky session from here basically. Uh, from here you can enable the sticky session. Okay, let's check it now. Still out of service. Still out of service.
so the my instances are not coming so what i can do is i can check the individual pages in this scenario if hello world page is getting loaded or not so let's 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 give it a try now it's opening so what what could be the issue in this scenario so let's check our security groups so in security group let's check the inbound rules so everything is fine over here let's check again let's 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 check it this time I, so my instances are like uh, now in service uh, now let's try to open this url of my load balancer and i should be able to see hello from from vm number two let's refresh let's refresh it again i can see hello one from vm number one so it will be load balancing my traffic on round robin basis so for simulating for simulating the failure scenario so what i can do is uh, I can do few things. I can power off this VM right away, so it will simulate my failure scenario. Or else, I, what I can do is I can log into this machine. So let's try, let's try to log in into this machine. I save it as a private key. I'll say open. So EC2 hyphen user. Let's celebrate the privileges over here and let's browse to my HTML directory. So what www html so here i can see my html hello html file so basically i can just rename this file to health to health one for suppose i've renamed this file so this will simulate my failure scenario let's 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 go to the load balancer tab and see the instances so let's, let's give it some time let's let let it fail the hell check so it has, has failed the hell check and i can see my vm1 is out of service now let's try to browse the url again uh, i to refresh this sometime few times few times so it is not loading loading my page from vm number two so this means my load balancer is working perfectly. I can simul I can I can monitor the various parameters from here from here. So as of now it has then recorded it because it is doing on every five minute basis. Uh, yeah. So that's it for this lab guys. Let's move